Hello, let's look at this problem for grade 11 and it's part of the circle geometry chapter. Question 1 says, complete the statement. A line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to a chord. So it's drawn from the center and it's, you have a circle from the center of that circle and it's drawn perpendicular to a chord. Okay, That line is so I just redrew the sketch that you have here. I drew it here for clarity because the paper is a bit blurry. So our line from the center is OC intersecting AB at T. Okay. So AB is our chord and OC is our line drawn from the center. You see how it starts at O. Okay. And we're given a bit of information. So let's put that statement down. It bisects. the chord okay so a line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to a chord bisect the chord all right then in 1.2 it says in the diagram O is the center so we have always the center of the circle a B is six units so we have a B is six units and TC is one unit we have also that OT. OT is perpendicular to AB. So OT perpendicular to our chord AB. So that is a 90 degree angle. And we must find the length of OT. That's what the question wants, that we find the length of OT. Can we just see? Um, so we said the line OC is going to bisect the chord. The chord is six units long so if it bisects it it means where it intersects to the right you will have half the half of six and to the left you will have the other half of six okay you can illustrate this by saying a b is equal to a t plus t b and you know that AB is equal to 6, but you also know that AT is equal to TB, so you can substitute any of ATB, AT or TB for the other, okay? So I'll choose to do AT, substituting TB there. So this is 2 AT, and it's equal to 6, so AT will be equal to 6 over 2 and it's equal to 3 so both a b and t b are equal to 3 so we have 3 3 and these two sides are equal a t and t b are equal you also have that t c is equal to 1 so t c from the intersection point to c that is equal to 1 so I think we've got all the information. Let me just take out the paper for more space. Clear that out. And we determine OT knowing AT, TB, and TC. We must now determine this side O T okay I just added a line there construction from 0 to B from O to B and you can see this is a right angle triangle so it allows us to use the Pythagoras theorem okay so we see by Pythagoras by the Pythagoras theorem that O T squared will be equal to okay maybe let's put it in a simple form let's start with the hypotenuse okay let me start with the hypotenuse so ob squared is equal to ot squared plus tb squared those are just the sides of the right angle triangle so this is by the pythagoras theorem 
since we are given that the that line OT is perpendicular to T to AB okay what values do we have we have the value of TB as 3 so that's the square of 3 we have the value of OT as unknown and the value of OB is R can you see that OB is a radius well it runs from the center to the circumference so it's the radius and we have OT being our unknown so that means OT is equal to R squared minus 3 squared okay also just notice that OC is equal to R okay OC is equal to R and we can see that OC is a radius so it's equal to R so that will mean that OT is equal to R minus 1 can you see why it's equal to R minus 1 so we can then substitute R minus 1 and I forgot to put the squared there R minus 1 squared is equal to r squared minus 9 okay we do our multiplication on the left and it's r minus 1 multiplied by r minus 1 as we expand and we have r squared minus 9 so that becomes r squared we take the r it multiplies the r on the other side and then it must multiply the minus 1 also get it giving us a minus r and then this must similarly this negative one term here must similarly multiply that and then multiply minus one and that results in when we do minus one multiply by r it's another minus r minus one multiply by minus one we get positive one and that is equal to r squared minus nine just keep in mind if you have two terms like this and another set of two terms when you multiply them you're going to come out with four terms so that you don't miss out any any of the terms okay so now this is r squared minus 2r squared plus 1 is equal to r squared minus 9 so we can start to transpose and we have r squared minus r squared as you carry this one over and we have minus 2r i don't know why i have a squared there because that is not r squared okay that is just r we had minus r minus r that's minus 2r okay so now minus 2r plus 1 plus 9 as 9 moves over and that will be equal to 0 so r squared cancels and we have minus 2r plus 10 is 0 minus 2r is equal to minus 10 so we can divide both sides by minus 2 and we find that our r is equal to 5 so now our radius is 5 can that help us to get our tc our side tc oh tc is known tc was 1 so we, the part we need is o t and we remember that OT is R minus 1. So it's OT we're looking for. And OT is R minus 1. That makes it 5 minus 1. And we have a 4. Okay. So to solve the problem, you had to notice. First, know the theorem that a line drawn from the center perpendicular to a chord. The chord in this case is AB bisect the chord and we also used this information tc is equal to one and we drew a radius there we noticed that the hypotenuse is a radius so this gave us the result that ot is equal to four